Are you ready? We will begin this exercise with the three to one method. Find a comfortable seated position, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number three three times. Take another deep breath, and while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number two three times. Take another deep breath, and while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number one three times. And you are a level one, the basic level that you can use for any purpose that you desire. Here now, we're going to help you learn to enter the physical relaxation level three. To help you learn to relax physically at level three, I'm going to direct your attention to different parts of your body. Relax your scalp. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyes. Relax your face. Relax your throat. Relax your shoulders. Relax your chest externally and internally. Relax your abdominal area externally and internally. Relax your thighs. Relax your knees. Relax your calves. Relax your feet. You are now at a deeper, healthier level of mind, deeper than before. This is your physical relaxation level three. Whenever you mentally repeat and visualize the number three, your body will relax as completely as you are now, and more so every time you practice. To enter mental relaxation level two, mentally repeat and visualize the number two several times. And you are at level two, a deeper level than three. Level two is for mental relaxation, where noises will not distract you. Instead, noises will help you to relax more and more. To improve mental relaxation at level two, Practice visualizing tranquil and passive scenes. To enter the basic plane level one, mentally repeat and visualize the number one several times. You are now at level one, the basic level that you are learning to use for a purpose, any purpose you desire. To help you enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, I am going to count from 10 to 1. On each descending number, you will feel yourself going deeper, and you will enter a deeper, healthier level of mind. 10, 9, feel going deeper, 8, 7, Six, deeper and deeper. Five, four, three, deeper and deeper. Two, one. You are now at a deeper, healthier level of mind, deeper than before. You may enter a deeper, healthier level of mind by simply relaxing your eyelids. Relax your eyelids. Feel how relaxed they are. Allow this feeling of relaxation to
to flow slowly downwards throughout your body all the way down to your toes. It is a wonderful feeling to be deeply relaxed, a very healthy state of being. To help you enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, I'm going to count from one to three and cause a sound with my fingers. At that moment, you will project yourself mentally to your ideal place of relaxation. I will then stop talking to you. One, two, three. Project yourself mentally to your ideal place of relaxation until you hear my voice again. After I stop talking to you and when you hear my voice again, you will take a deep breath, relax, and go deeper. Relax. Relax. Take a deep breath and go deeper. The difference between genius mentality and lay mentality is that geniuses use more of their minds and use them in a special manner. You are now able to use more of your mind and to use it in a special manner. The following are beneficial statements, which you may occasionally repeat while at these levels of the mind. Repeat mentally after me. My increasing mental faculties are for serving humanity better. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better, better, and better. Positive thoughts bring me all the benefits and advantages I desire. I have full control and complete dominion over my sensing faculties at this level of the mind or any other level, including the outer conscious level. And this is all. Negative thoughts, negative suggestions have no influence over me at any level of the mind. I will always maintain a perfectly healthy body and mind. I am now able to attune my intelligence by developing my sensing faculties and to project them to any point or place on this planet so as to be aware of any actions taking place, if this is necessary and beneficial for humanity. I am now able to attune my intelligence by developing my sensing faculties and to project them to any point or place on any planet within the solar system, any solar system within the galaxy, any galaxy within the universe and to be aware of any actions taking place, if this is necessary and beneficial for humanity. I am now able to attune my intelligence by developing my sensing faculties and to project them to the different matter kingdoms. The inanimate matter kingdom, any of its levels and depths. The animate matter kingdom, with reproductive intelligence, plant life, and animal life, any of its levels and depths. The animate matter kingdom with reproductive intelligence and an awareness of existence. The human body and the mind kingdom, any of its levels and depths. I am now able to detect abnormalities whenever such abnormalities exist within 
any kingdom, any level, any depth, if this is necessary and beneficial for humanity. I am now able to apply corrective measures and to bring back to normalcy any abnormality found within any kingdom, any level, any depth, if this is necessary and beneficial for humanity. Negative thoughts, negative suggestions have no influence over me at any level of the mind. Every time you function at these levels of the mind, you will receive beneficial effects, physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind to help yourself physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind to help your loved ones physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind and all these points of reference to help any human being who needs help physically and mentally. You will never use these levels of the mind and these points of reference to harm any human being. If this be your intention, you will not be able to function within these levels of the mind. You will always use these levels of the mind and these points of reference in a constructive, creative manner for all that is good, honest, pure, clean and positive. And uh, this is so. Keep relaxing your body into the present moment. Now, if it begins to rush to the future, or you begin to notice that it's agitated as a feeling, 
or it's anticipating, or it's lingering in some emotion from the past, your job is to become metacognitive and bring it back to the present moment. And the way you bring it back to the present moment is you become aware of the present moment. Some of you may be easy to take a breath. You relax your body back in the present moment. You cool it off and you settle that stallion down. You settle that animal down and you bring it in the present moment. You're training it to a new mind. You want it to begin to follow your orders. Does that make sense? So I'm not going to be saying hardly anything in the process, but it's your job to continue to bring your body into the present. Sounds easy, right? All right, let's do it. Watch your thoughts now. Become the observer. Bring the body repeatedly into the present moment. If you notice your mind wandering to the future, your body will begin to respond. Bring it back to the present moment. If you start to feel an emotion, that's a familiar emotion. Your body thinks it's in the past and you limit the potential of the now. Pay attention to the feelings in the body, the sensations. This is how you trained it.
must stay in the present.
keep relaxing into the present moment. Into the moment. Train the body into the present. Stay with it.
relax your body into the present. Observe your thoughts. Bring your body back to the present.
pay attention to how you're feeling. Bring your body into the feeling of the moment. Don't think, feel. Be the master of your body. Thank you.
okay, we're going to breathe now because we want to change our physiology, we want to oxygenate the brain, we want to move energy out of our survival centers from digestion to a state of creation. Remember that central tube that passes up the central axis of your body? It's a real thing. Like a straw now, I want you to take a breath and draw that energy up from your lower abdomen, your perineum, through your upper abdomen, through your chest, all the way through your throat to the top of your head. And hold it at the top of your head. Hold it. And as you exhale, relax. Intentionally participate. Again, come on. I want you to draw it up through your lower abdomen, chest, through your neck, throat, through your brain, to the top of your head, the very top of your head, and I want you to hold it there. And let that build as an energy. Energy follows awareness. And as you exhale, relax. Again, one more now. Come on, draw it up through your lower abdomen. Chest, throat, the top of your head. Draw it up there. Willfully hold it at the top now. Let it build. Hold it. And exhale now. Yeah, we're getting there. Come on. Take yourself a little further. Again, draw it up through your perineum, your lower abdomen, your upper abdomen, through your chest, throat, through your head to the top of your head, and I want you to hold it there. Let it build as an energy. We're releasing energy into the field. As you exhale, now relax. Again, draw it all the way up through that central axis like sucking fluid through a straw all the way to the top of your head. As you exhale, now relax. Oh, we gotta do it again. We're changing physiology now. Draw it up through your lower abdomen, upper abdomen, through your chest, all the way to the top of your head. Hold it there, intentionally sucking energy from the lower part of your body to the top. Hold it. As you exhale, relax. Come on, a little bit more now. Again, willfully draw it up through your lower abdomen, upper abdomen, through your chest, throat. Pull it all the way to the top of your head. Energy follows awareness. Hold it. Let it build. Surrender to the process. Just surrender and do it. Let's draw it up again through your lower abdomen. Pull it all the way up to the top of your head. Pulling it up through the central axis, through a straw. Hold it. And exhale and relax.
You draw it up again through your lower abdomen from your perineum all the way up through your chest, through your throat, through your head to the top of your head now. Intentionally hold it up there. And this time when you exhale, I want you to surrender that feeling, that emotion into the field. And exhale and relax. Come on, we're changing now. We're changing. A little bit more now. Again, draw it up through that central canal all the way to the top of your head. Come on. Participate. Just do it. Exhale and relax. Yeah, we're getting there now. Come on, just a few more. Come on, give me your best. Again, draw it up through your lower abdomen, through your perineum, up through your chest, through your throat to the top of your head now and hold it there. As you exhale now, release it out of the body. You can't go to the future. You can't go to the future living in the emotions of the past. Come on again, one more. Draw it up now with all of your intention through your lower abdomen, upper abdomen through your chest, through your throat. Suck it all the way up to the top of your head and hold it this time and let it build. Hold it, energy follows awareness. As you exhale now, relax. Now just feel for a minute, just feel. Relax your body into the present. Now just become aware of the space that your entire head occupies in space. the space, the column of your neck occupies in space, and the space that it takes up in space. Can you notice the space that your upper torso occupies in space? Your chest all the way to your shoulder blades, including your ribs, your heart, and your lungs. Can you become aware of the space that that volume of mass takes up in space?
Now can you become conscious of the space that your arms and your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, and your hands occupy in space, and the space that your upper extremities are in, in space. Can you become aware of the space that your lower torso no. occupies in space? Your abdomen, flanks, and your back. Can you become aware of the space that volume of energy occupies no. in space? Just become aware of the space that your pelvis is in space and the space that it takes up in space. Can you become aware of the space that your legs occupy in space, your thighs, your knees, your calves, your shins? Can you become conscious of the space that your ankles and feet take up in space, and the space that your entire lower extremities are in? Can you become aware of the space that your entire body occupies in space and the volume of space that your body occupies in space? Can you become aware of the space around your body and the space that the space around your body takes up in space? Stay present.
Now can you become aware of the space that this entire room occupies in space? And the volume of space that this room takes up in space. Bring your body into the moment. Relaxing the body into the moment.
stay in the now. All potentials exist in the now. It's time to condition the body to a new experience. It's time to move from the past to the future. There is a potential in your life for a new opportunity. And I want you to begin to signal the body through emotion how you would feel when that new opportunity happens. So the body begins to believe emotionally that the future is happening now.
know there's another potential for you to exist free from the chains of the old self. Potential exists right now. And I want you to teach your body emotionally what it would feel like so that it begins to believe it's in the actual experience of freedom now. Come on, let go. Let your body feel freedom so that it thinks it's in the experience. There's a potential in the field where you're healthy and balanced. And I want you to signal your body emotionally to feel the joy of how you would feel. So the body begins to be in a future potential now. And there's a potential for you to have all your needs met and be wealthy. And I want you to instruct your body to experience wealth and the joy of riches ahead of the actual event so your body thinks it's in the experience. Turning on new genes. Open up those pathways down to your body so you feel it. If 
you feel it, your body thinks it's in the experience. It doesn't know the difference. There's a potential in the field for a genius mind, quicksilver thoughts, insights that take you to new horizons, and the electricity that's created from an open mind. Teach your body emotionally the joy and the inspiration of what that would feel like. To experience your genius and think that it's in the event now. There is a possibility existing simultaneously in the quantum field of the vitality of a new life. your body feel if it was in that experience communicate with it emotionally so that it thinks it's in the experience now and when you do you're connected to that destiny
there's a potential in the quantum field that all your prayers are answered, that possibility finds you. And what level of gratitude could you teach your body to be in, to give thanks for your prayers before they're made manifest? What is the signal that you can create on a cellular level in your heart and in your body? Where it begins to think that its prayers are being answered now. There is a real live intelligence within you that observes you, that loves you, that knows everything about you. Creation is emulating this intelligence. I want you to talk to it now. I want you to ask it that if it is real and that it exists, inspired means to see a future without obstacles, to see a potential without sweating the details, to know that you're connected to a new reality. Lift yourself up. Memorize this feeling of possibility. Be open to the expectation of the unknown.
Now, what was that first belief that you wanted to change based on how you used to think and feel? Remember it. What were the thoughts that that belief was based on? What did you say to yourself that you used to think was true? That really were just old circuits wired in your brain. Remember the old belief and become conscious of it. And what was the emotions? What were those emotions that you memorized? And how did those beliefs feel to you? Remember the emotional component, the feeling of that belief. It's energy stored in the body. I want you to surrender that belief to that great power within you that gives you life that's both personal and universal. I want you to ask it to take it from you and organize it in a way that is just right for you. Now make the conscious decision that you no longer want to believe this any longer about yourself. Make the decision. Remember it. Remember that this is no longer true about you. Remember, you're changing your belief. What do you want to believe about yourself? What belief do you choose now? And now make this a decision. Make it with firm 
intention with certainty so that you remember it. I want it to stimulate your body. I want it to become a gut feeling. Be certain about it and raise your energy with firm intention so that this thought is the experience that reconditions the body to a new mind, to a new emotion. Give yourself an electrical charge. Repeat it until you believe it. And let your body be in the emotional experience so it believes it is well. Change your energy. Come on, change it. Be emphatic, be clear, and be empowered. Make up your mind. Change your energy, come on. Give your body a new signal. Take this energy. And what was that second belief you wanted to change that was connected to the old self that you consistently thought about and consistently felt to the point where it was an unconscious process that filtered your world and your perception into a box. Make the choice if you still want to believe it.
Now make the decision with firm intention what you do want to believe about yourself. And make it with an elevated heart and an emphatic mind. Make up your mind and send the signal to your body. This is what you do want to believe and make it an experience so that your body never forgets. Be empowered. Be the Lord of your destiny. Make your belief a new energy, a new energy, and remember it. Remember it and repeat it until your body and mind believe it. Be absolute. body become electrified. You're walking through the gate. Be lifted. Energized, be inspired, be invincible. Make this the new gut feeling. Inspiration is seeing a future without any obstacles. It's beyond analysis. It's knowing. There is a way to your destiny that is unpredictable, that's driven by the profound energy of your emotion. Make your body believe it. Make your body believe it because it feels it and believes it's in the experience emotionally.
one breath and draw it all the way up to the top of your head. And as you hold it there, I want this new energy to fill your being. And when I ask you to exhale, I want you to surrender this energy into the unknown. And exhale. Ready? You can open your eyes.